Hello friends, this is Sharali Sharma and I am the student of SPIFS Indore and today I am going to present my topic that is development of hard disk. Most of people in this world are really amazed that they can store hundreds of CDs containing music in just a single iPod which is not more than, than a hard drive and hard drives are such a smaller thing and these were invented just 50 years ago. Now first of all see what is the history of hard drive and it was started with RAMAC R A M A C IBM wo company thi jisne first hard disk drive commercial computer banaya tha jisko usne RAMAC ka tha and the full form is random access method of accounting and control IBM ki uh, jo storage system tha use bolte the IBM 350 aur uh, but the problem was RAMAC ko store karne ke liye hame two refrigerators jitne size ke equipments lagte the and it contained 24 inches platters which were 50 in number but the uh, storage capacity was only uh, which was less than 5 MB you can see this was the RAMAC and this is one refrig uh, two refrigerator size one RAMAC computer hard drive now the next came was plug and play IBM 1311 disk storage drives were introduced in 1962 and uh, which gave the usage a rise to the usage of IBM 1316 which was named as disk packs and the benefit was the customers can expand the storage capacity as much as they needed and the IBM company what they did they reduced the size from 24 inches to just 14 inches and the 9 pound disk packs were fitted into a device which was less than the uh, storage capacity which was two refrigerators to a single washing machine but the each um, but the storage capacity was each pack can hold 2 MB of data this is the picture of 1316 IBM 1316 as you can see this is the size of the modern washing machine the next was the revolution of PC um, 1970s the jo computers the that were very huge expensive and uh, very specialized devices which can be afforded by only big businessmen universities government institutions etc but in 1980 there was the company named sugar technology jinhone ek hard drive introduced ki which was 5 mb hard disk uh, storage capacity hard drive and uh, they can be easily fitted into the computers and the size was only 5.25 inches that means the size was reduced from 14 inches to 5.25 inches and the cost of the drive was dollar 1500 and uh, this was the only problem that it was too costly this was how the hard disk of that time looked next was the advent of RAID R -A -I -D, which is redundant army of inexpensive disk it was a simple idea in which we can store several hard drives which contain discrete information into a single case the benefit was we can easily uh, read write the data in the individual devices and then we can easily transfer it one to one place to the another and um, in the latest assembly there are found 60 individual hard drives in uh, which are arranged in the form of four RAID arrays this was how the RAID looked these are the stacks uh, or the individual hard drives which are arranged in the form of stacks in the RAID arrays now for becoming bigger better faster and much more the 5.25 inches drives were shrunk to 3.5 inches and then when the laptops came when they become popular these sizes were reduced to just 2.5 inches and for maintaining this there were the new interfaces introduced which were IDE, SC, SI, ATA, SATA, PCIs etc and uh, what the drive makers did to increase the capability of the hard drives and their, their performance they increased the spindle speed that means the speed of the motor that turns the hard drive which was 5400 initially revolutions per minute then it turned into 7200 which uh, yielded more, much more better performance and finally the companies like Seagate, Western Digital and other 
they just in, uh, increased it to 10,000 RPM and which was eventually increased to 15,000 RPM drives. Then came the solid state drives. Um, by the early of 1990s, we can buy a 20 mm SSD for a PC at the price of dollar 1000, but uh, or we can say dollar 50 per megabyte. But by comparison, or by the time it dropped to just uh, one dollar per megabyte, and the spatial breakthrough came when the flash drives were introduced. By 2000, mid of 2000s. The companies like Samsung, SanDisk and many other companies, they introduced and they brought the market of flash SSDs and uh, which just replaced the hard disk drives and as they were just uh, faster, smaller and more. As you can see, this was the transformation from hard disk drive to solid state drives. This was the initial size of hard disks and this was the size of solid state drives. Now it's time to understand the working of hard drive. Actually a computer contains a large shiny circular plate which is magnetized magnetic material called a platter and this platter is divided into little little billions of areas. Each area can be independently magnetized or demagnetized. If we magnetize it we can store a 1 and if we demagnetize it we store a 0. Uh, actually, why we use magnetism? Because uh, when we uh, process the uh, process the storage by magnetism, it is stored forever, or it keeps on storing the information even if the power is switched off. Just like uh, when we magnetize a nail, it is mag it uh, it stays magnetized until we demagnetize it. So this means that even if we have switched off our computer. Then also the PC will uh, store the information as it is as we have stored it. This is the diagram which shows the working. This is the platter which is the test. In center this is the spindle which provides the revolution for the hard disk. This is the head which writes the data uh, that means with the help of magnetism. This is the actuator arm which helps in the rotation of the disk and this is the actuator which is controlled by the motor to control the actuator arm. Now let us understand how the data is read and write it in the hard disk. Actually when we hard disk mein data ko hum store data in the it is not just like it is uh, thrown into the uh, just we are throwing the nails into the box. It is stored in a systematic manner. All, uh, all the platter area is divided into uh, single areas which, uh, which is and the in which the information is stored in the form of uh, arranged in the form of concentric circular parts called the tracks and each track is further broken into the sector. Each track uh, which is broken into the sector the hard drive contains the map of that particular sector as if uh, where is the place empty and where is the data already stored. So when we uh, are trying to store a new data at that time the computer instructs the read write head to just locate the where the free sector is uh, available and then instructs the read write read head to just store the data in that particular location that is free sector. This was how the data is stored and when we want to read the information at that time the process just runs in reverse. This shows the process of reading and writing. This is the empty space, this is the space filled and this is the head which wants to store the data. So when the data is stored then it becomes oppositely charged that means it gets polarized. So the data is stored in our hard disk. Now the question arises how does an electronic computer manipulate all the mechanical nitty gritty in a hard drive? For doing this they contains an interface which is called controller and uh, which is actually controlled uh, operated by actuators which, which just selects the specific area for reading and writing and then they convert a parallel stream of data going from the computer into a serial streams of data being written to the disk. And we know that every coin has two sides, the pros and the cons. So 
the hard drive also has a drawback which is if it contains the dirt or dust it may damage the hard drive as the um, play ahead which writes the data on the uh, hard drive platter it will bounce up and down due to that dirt particle which will crash into the platter and which will ultimately damage the magnetic material and this is known as disk disk crash and this uh, ju just loses the data which is stored in the hard drive and this happens without any warning so if you want to save our data we just have to keep the backups of our documents and file of uh, in our computer this industry is just expanding and developing at a great pace and uh, we have already come with 8 TB and 10 TBs of hard drives which are just 3.5 inches so the inventions and the creations and development in this industry will keep on going and going and will get a better and better hard drives in the future thanks a lot